Move on. The North Carolina Tar Heels. Mac. Fighting Mac Browns. Mac Jeez. is back, baby. That's right. Two and nine last year. That's the reason Larry Fedora was let go. One and seven in the conference. Returning starters. They got four on offense, six on defense back. Experience returning, number 103 in the country. That's good for number 12 in the ACC. The over-under is five. Over is minus 125. The under juice is plus 105. So they think it's more likely they will hit six as opposed to four. We'll, we'll discuss this. But uh, Mac Brown, 244, 122, and one in 30 years of coaching. They brought in offensive coordinator Phil Longo from Ole Miss and defensive coordinator Jay Bateman. The offensive strength is going to be at running back. You got Michael Carter and Antonio Williams. Uh, but Brown hired Longo to run the up-tempo air raid. He wanted to improve the offense, do the air raid, move things fast, right? So he wanted things to go fast. But I don't know how well that works with a defensive coordinator that they brought in, right? I was just they, about to say, the, this is oil and water. Yes, they brought in defensive coordinator Jay Bateman, who... Likes to blitz from like a 3-4 and a 4-3 scheme. I mean, you, you got defensive end Toman Fox and linebacker uh, Dominique Ross. They will flourish in a defense like this. The issue is Bateman is used to coaching a defense that's on the field for like 20 minutes a game. I was just about to say, where the offense and runs the ball, controls time of possession, controls the line of scrimmage, yes. playing from a short field, Yeah, you know, those types of things. And, it, and it, now... Now We're gonna air got, it. Uh, a lot of three and outs. A lot of they are more likely to be on the field. The defense is more likely to be on the field for forty minutes when they've got Longo's offense, as opposed to the other way around. Twenty right? minutes and their typical so, offense. Uh, will he still be as aggressive? I don't know. I'm I'm super curious to see how this is gonna work because like you put all these pieces together and you're like. Oh, well, he was great here, and he was great here, and, like, we can do all of this different stuff. But it's just like, not how football works. Exactly. We've watched this for so long. It's not how football yeah. works. The other thing is, is I don't know anything about the talent. Like, you can go look at the recruiting rankings and, and things like this. North Carolina is not the worst team in the ACC. They're not the best team in the ACC talent-wise w- w- when you're looking at places like rival stuff. But, like, I don't, I don't know how all of these pieces, coaching talent – it, are these offensive guys? Now, Larry Fedora was an offensive guy, so he should have some offensive talent here, but at the same time, he wasn't running an air raid. No, I mean, he, he was running a spread. He was running a spread. It, it was, it, and it was up-tempo, but not as up-tempo as like what Phil Longo right. was used to. So, and like, the talent on the defensive side of the ball, not to cut you off, but the same right, thing right. is is these guys weren't attacking defenses back then. No. They were very much back on their heels, Playing defense, not aggressive defense. And can you just take these guys and just ask them to do something different? Going a little bit of tangent, I know we're trying to go faster, but but Mike Lombardi always talks about how when you look in the NFL, cornerbacks go from one team to another yeah. and how they're the best corner in the league and then they go to this other team and one, they're one of the worst. And he said because there's two types of corners. There's attacking corners and they're, and they're soft corners. And he said... You can be the best at at one. Nobody's great at both. But if you're a soft corner and nobody ever throws your way because you just cover the guy like a blanket, yeah. and they move you to an attacking defense, you you're get, not going to be that good. You get dusted everybody, everywhere by every receiver, not just the elite of the elite, everybody. Yeah. And defensive coordinators can't figure out, well, why can this guy not play? Because he's good at a different thing than what you're asking him to do. Yes. I think this defense, that's not, we talk about this on offense going from a triple ops to a spread or something of that nature. Defensive players have tendencies and skill sets that they are used to doing, just like offensive players. Oh, yeah. They're about to get asked to do something they've never been asked to do before that we've seen in college. Well, the other side of this is how long are the reins that Mac Brown is going to give to Phil Longo and Jay Bateman, right? Like, how. He is not used to coaching these types of defenses or offenses. Like he's just not used to coaching this type of football. And for him to bring in these guys rather than something that he is comfortable and familiar with was really strange. Like I, I think that there's talent on the roster, obviously, but is it enough to 
uh, to circumvent the philosophies that he's trying to bring in right now because these two philosophies just don't I'm very mesh. curious as to how much decision making he had in all of this stuff to begin with. I'm sure that they ran stuff by him, or is this an organization that said, we would like these guys to coach with you, and Mac just wanted to be back in the game, and he's very much, we all assume, CEO-type coach. Yeah. And if that's the case, we need him fundraising, we need him shaking hands, kissing babies, and trying to get that emergency 20 from the you know, extra, extra booster to to kind of bring some money back into the program yeah. and get people excited again. and But it's, we're going to hire strange. these guys to coach, but there's no cohesiveness there. That rarely works in football. Yeah. it it's There's so much more that has to go into it. I've got this team four and eight. I've got them four and eight as well. Oh, man. I, I've got them one and seven in the conference. I kind of thought I was being generous at four and eight, too. I mean, I've I've got the win at Wake Forest to like early on. I've got a win over App State. I've got a win uh, over Mercer, and I've got a win at home against Virginia because I think the defense sometimes, uh, when bigger teams underestimate teams that are a little hungry, a little desperate, um, some of those things can swing either way. At four and eight. If this team finished two and ten, would it surprise you? Not in these slightest. Not me neither. But man. I it mean, wouldn't surprise me if they get to a bowl game either. Oh, then like that would shock the, the hell out of me. The thing is, well, I mean, the that's over where under. That's where we're different. The over under is five, and Vegas like it, I, I, it's I over know, minus one twenty five. I know what Vegas is doing. I get that. So it wouldn't and I, shock and me. I've been wrong before. It would absolutely shock the hell out of me. I okay. I, can I mean, it, it would. It it really would surprise me. I mainly because I don't believe in Mac Brown as a as a as a leader or a coach anymore. And I don't know that you can just take this guy and take this guy and just say, well, you're a good defensive coordinator. You do your job and you're a good offensive coordinator. You do your job. But at some point in time, we got to say, what is the game going to look like? If you both succeed, it's great. But what happens when the offense is playing a good defense and you go three and out five, six, Pretty series regular. in a row. What happens? And and you've been on the field for less and, than and a we've, minute. And we've, yeah, I was about to say, and we've killed, you know, a couple of minutes off of clock in four possessions, and the defense is just dragging. This yeah. is going to be one of those teams that, if it's bad, they're going to be like Louisville last year, not in everybody quitting or whatever, they won't cover a single spread. Yeah. The it's, games it's they possible. lose, they're going to get dusted because a defense, you're going to eventually get to be able to where you can score. And if they're blitzing, all the time, and they're really attacking, that's when big plays happen. If yeah. you miss, it kills you. Yeah. You're Alabama, you can do that. You're Clemson, LSU, big defense at Auburn, Georgia, great defensive program. But they, they will get blasted Michigan, by, Michigan State. by some of these teams that's that right. can put up points. You, you miss on those big blitzes and you get aggressive defensively, you're talking about to the house. Yeah. No, you're right. All right, we got three teams left. We've already Sorry. hit our 30-minute mark. So... We don't worry about going over. It's all good. We're just rocking and rolling.